live from Vestros, Sweden. Fight Club Rush presents free five-minute rounds at a contracted weight of 63.5 kilograms. Introducing first in the blue corner. Tonight he makes his debut, weighing in at 63.3 kilograms. Fighting out of Sweden, Abdulaziz Hussein. And his opponent in the red corner also making his debut, weighing in at 63.3 kilograms, also from Sweden, Ali Yazbek. Your referee in charge of the action, Tom Crawford. Red. Okay, guys, we'll be more all over the rules. Listen to my commands, touch gloves, back to your corner. Let's have a good fight. All right, well, here we've moved from amateur to pro. Pani, why don't you tell us about some of the differences between A-class amateur MMA and pro MMA? Well, it's you don't have any any protection over your chins anymore, and you you can elbow in professional MMA. Also, longer rounds, smaller. Exactly. Oh, oh wow! Watch out for the submission attempts of Yasbek. He is crafty on the ground. He actually holds a 38-second submission victory over Ali Reza Sarabi from the bottom. He has a very crafty guard. Oh, goes for the leg as well. Wow. wow I can really see it. Ali Yazbek really jockeying for position here. He that needs to get a le his leg out of there. Yeah. Heading into his fight, Ali Azbik said, expect a finish regardless of where the fight goes. He actually feels he's better than Hussein in every aspect of MMA, including wrestling. Wow, nice timing. Ooh, just missed her with that knee. But you're right, Sebastian. There's a difference between going from amateur rounds to the pro rounds for five minutes. I mean, two minutes more not, might not sound like much, but it is almost double the yeah. time of the round. So it definitely does make a difference. A great kick from Yas back there. Yeah, you really need to pace yourself differently for five minutes. Yeah. I mean, for three minutes, you can basically just explode if you're in shape. Mm -hmm. But here, you really need to pace yourself. I mean, yeah. you haven't even gone half the round yet. Yas has some really good timing on his kicks Whoa. and knees. Some nice knees there in the clinch. And of course, knees to the head. Yes, yeah. exactly. Let's not forget. And I mean, if Hussein wants to dive, if he wants to go for takedowns, he needs to be careful of Yazbek's knees. Yazbek looks good here on the feet. Oh. oh, connected there. All right, takedown. Hunting for an arm here. This is Yazbek. I think he has the arm. Yeah. He has it. Well, the elbow's almost yeah. out. Ooh. Yeah. Close. It's kind of like pick your poison, right? Because yeah. so far, Yazbek has proven to be pretty dangerous regardless of where he ends up. Well, this is MMA. And when you when you put in the grappling, uh, it's, it's, it's hard just to wrestle nowadays. Mm. Abu Hussein is corner telling him that his opponent is heavy on his front leg. We might see some leg kicks or maybe some single leg entries. Some, a bit of a cut there on the side of the right eye of Abu Hussein. Yeah. Well, yes, big, really comfortable off his back. Abu looking up at the clock. As we mentioned, it is, it doesn't necessarily mean that he's tired, but just like. He's probably not used to it being five minutes. I mean, you can train for it, but it's not the same as in a fight. Nice solid leg kick there from Hussein, though. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that was close. Oh, he's rocked. Yeah. Okay, oh. little 
Marcellus there. I mean, how does Albert Hussein though? I mean, he's like a caged animal. He's like his most dangerous when you think he's he's hurt. Oh, watch out for the arm. Oh, he does not want Yasbek there. Yasbek is tricky here. Yep. One minute left. He needs to be very careful of his arm right here. He needs to try to step. Ooh. He's out. Triangle. Beautiful transitions oh. here on the ground. Looks like he's got the grip. Yasbek's experience really shines here. Yeah. Now, I bet he needs to posture up and do not let, let Yasbek get control of that right arm. He, he could cross the arm that it's easier to finish the triangle, but he could just pull down on the head as well. Maybe Yasbek should threaten a bit with like the arm hanging, maybe yeah. shift it over. Just Got the angle now. Mm -hmm. Just over 10 seconds left. Oh, just to an arm bar. Oh. Ooh, that is tight. He's out of it. Oh, my God. Wow. 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 What a yeah, high yeah. pace. I wasn't even looking away at all to see how it's breaking. Well, what a round. Oh, man, that was exciting. This was very back and forth. Yeah. And and I, I would say that Jaspik could seal that round mm. just because of the end. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. so close to finishing the fight several times. Yeah, he was really close to that. And even though Hussein got, caught him with that right hand, I think his knee attempts was mm. so close. Here we see that Jaspik's hands are flying here. That's his right knee. And he even tat and there's what when Yasbek tags him again and coming with that knee on top. And Hussein even tags him with the left hook. He's got some good counters, mm -hmm. does Hussein, but it's like I don't you can not count either of these fighters out. They're both dangerous from every position. But Yasbek's experience on the ground really shines here. Yeah. He's been close yeah. to finishes. And I mean we knew how dangerous and how good Abu Hussein was hitting into this, but I really feel like Ali Azbek has established himself here. Yeah. So far, it's been an action-packed round. Azbek also a fan of the classics. He finished reading George Orwell's 1984 this summer. Yeah, Abbe, he's, he's not really connecting with that overhand no. tonight. That was a great low kick by Azbek. And you have to wonder, does this affect Hussein anything? I would think it, so. It, this must affect him. I mean, because Jaspik is putting hands on him right yeah. now. Well, it's also like he, uh, Hussein is biting on almost every fake and faint mm -hmm. coming his way. Mm -hmm. Hitting a fair bit of air tonight. I mean, he's been missing. I think Jaspik is, yeah, he's really finding his yeah. move right now. Yeah, he's finding, and, and Hussein, he needs to go back to where he, he's good at. He needs to find find himself again, because it's, it's oh, okay. he's not down yet. Oh. He's looking for a reversal. This is wrestling versus grappling here, yeah. because uh, wrestlers don't want to be on their back, so mm -hmm. they gladly give up their back, and now this is the result of that. Oh. He doesn't have both hooks, so no, doesn't need it. I think this yeah. uh, this might be it. This could get close here. He so. needs to have yeah good control of the hands. Yeah, yeah, and put his back to the mat when he can. I'm trying to get his back to the mat despite being a wrestler, turning no nope, turning into the choke. Interesting. It looked like Yasbik preferred hamming him on the side, like he kind of adjusted his opponent there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So far, Hussein is defending good. He's, yeah. like, the most important thing here is to stay calm. If you're getting stressed, that's when you get into trouble. Yeah, Abbas uh, corner telling him to get his back flat on the mat here. And 
And no this surprise that Yazbek looks this good here on in every aspect. I mean, he trains with true champions. He trains with UA Warriors champ Ali Taleb, Octagon champ Yunus Morgold, and of course UFC veteran Lina Landsberg. So he's definitely got some good training partners. Just want to add that this is this is a much better position right now for Abbe than he, than the position he was just in. You can see that he's got the, the, the arm trapped there underneath and he's got both hands on the choke, choking mm -hmm. arm. He's pretty safe here. It's not a good position, obviously, no. but he was in much more danger just a couple of seconds ago. I mean, he, he's safe from the choke. It's just getting dominated. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. The, and losing time. But, I mean, I mean, this is also tiring for Yazbek. You never know. Like, oh, 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 beautiful transition. Going for the arm again. Oh, that looks tight. There's the tap. Ali Yazbek said he would get the finish regardless of where it goes, and he delivered on his word. Wow. Well, Beautiful. I Beautiful display there from Yazbek. He really came into his own there in round two. I mean, how he transitions from the back to the arm bar was pretty amazing. We need to see a replay of that. Oh, yes, please. Let's take a look at some of that action. That was such an exciting, fast-paced bout. But res really a good respect between these two fighters. And look at this. And don't look away now, Penny. Oh. What? Oh, oh, there is some hyperextension going on there for sure. Really elevating his hips mm. as well. Look at how he elevates his hips here when he gets his body to the ground. Yeah. Looks like pushes up the hips like... Ugh. No, that was a great finish. And I think this is only going to make Hussein a better fighter. Yeah. Fighting such a good opponent in his pro debut. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Tom Crawford calls to stop the action at 3 minutes and 16 seconds of round number two. For your winner by armbar, Ali Yazbek! All right, Ali, when I interviewed you before, you said expect a finish regardless of where the fight ends up. You delivered on your word. How do you feel after such a fantastic performance? Lightning doesn't hit, hit twice, strike twice, whatever it says. Me and Ali, Ali would have taken this fight and he would have made it better. Love you, Abe, but my team is the best. Well, you definitely showed that here tonight. You looked great everywhere. When you were on the ground, you were threatening from your back. On the feet, you were lighting them up with your hands. I mean, this has got to be as about as good a pro debut as you could have expected. Definitely, definitely. I got some time in the cage. I was a bit tense. I felt my legs are gone. But yeah, I'm really happy. I'm really happy for this pro debut. I've been waiting for this time for 10 years. Does that make it a little sweeter as well? Because there have been so many times when you've tried making your pro debut, but something has come in the way, injury, illness, something like that. Does that make the victory even sweeter? The mind has been my biggest enemy, my mind. But I pushed through and it's worth it now. It sure is. And I mean, looking at this, you don't seem to be particularly injured. You look to be ready to go again if somebody gets injured later on in the main card. When can we see you back in FCR? As soon as I can get a fight. Woohoo! But now I've been, I came off the last fight seven weeks ago. I just went into camp immediately after. I haven't punched this hand for eight weeks. I haven't been able to train correctly. Now I'm just going to fix this hand and probably nothing wrong and I'll be back real quick. Well, if that was how you performed with an injured hand, then I can't wait to see how you perform when you're 100%. The hardest part might be finding somebody willing to step into the cage with you, but I say you've earned a little chance to thank all the people helping out because I know you have such a strong team that helped you on your way here. Yeah, definitely. All to my team, all thanks to my team. Fuck me, without these guys, I'm nothing. Without Redline, without Johannes, Ali, Benjamin, Akira, Yunus, Taleb, all the guys that I train with every day, they will make me who I am. Well, as a person as an as a fighter. Spoken very true words there. Welcome to FCR. Welcome to the Pro Leagues. We can't wait to have you back here. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Ali Yazbek. Yes, can I mama?